Pilipinas at buong mundo. Night ay kapuso. Pairan po ng 20 minutes ang inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Ang init-init po ng pagtanggap uh, sa ating bisita ngayong hapon. But before that, sa lahat po ng nagmamasid sa ating live streaming channel sa Facebook at YouTube, sa lahat ng nakikinig po sa Dizzy Double B, welcome to the program. Maraming salamat! Buksan natin ang ating programa with uh, for today's talk. Napakakalaking balita po na lalong magpapa-excite po sa atin sa Season 2 ng Running Man Philippines. Uh, we just confirmed na, wow, tatlong Korean superstars ang magigest sa Running Man Season 2. Makakasama ng Pinoy runners, si Sandara Park. Hi, Sandy, if you're watching, Sandara Park. Nanuno daw yan, alam niyo ba? Yes, Sandy, yes. <laughs> ang former Momoland member na si Nancy McDonny at isa sa member ng Running Man uh, Korea na si Haha. Wow! <laughs> Wish granted ito para sa mga fans ng Running Man dahil marami sa inyo ang nagre-request na sana may mga Korean stars na mag-guest sa Season 2. Ayan po, nagkatotoo na. Hindi naman makapaniwala ang runners na ganito kalaki ang pasabog ng season na ito. I was told na naiyak pa sila sa tuwa ng makita nila si Haha dahil dream talaga nila makasama sa missions ng OG member ng Running Man Korea. Bukod sa Korean stars, ito naman ang magandang balita din. Guest din sa season 2 si Josh ng SB19. Palakpakan natin. Wow! Bianca Umali. Herlene Budol. Alessandra De Rossi. Eric Tai At marami pa pong iba. Kaabang-abang din ang magiging special participation ni Ruru Madrid sa season 2. Abangan po natin ang Running Man Philippines season 2. Simula ngayong May 11 and 12 uh, every primetime weekend dito po sa GMA 7. Basta sama-sama, best time ever. Asia's pop heartthrob. Nay Tai Kapuso, please welcome Darren! Thank you, Dago! Hello, Pao! Nice to see you. Please, please, make yourself comfortable. Gusto ko yung linyan, ikaw ay akin, ako'y iyong iyo. Yes, po. Kung sasabihin mo ang linyang yan ngayon, para kanino yun? At the moment, para sa fans ko po, yung The Renatics. Dahil sa kanilang support. Opo. Eh, but I love it. But I have a question because, you know, I saw you when you were starting 10 years ago. You were 12 years old. I think the last interview I did with you was 2019. Yes, and look at you today. You're six one. Why did Darren? Why did you drop that? Why Darren? Why did you drop the family name? Because there are other speculations. You said you didn't even hear it. Then you heard it. Did you clear it? Well, it's really just for the purpose of my image as a singer, also and branding. We we kind of just decided also na darin na lang po gamitin niya. Yeah. Also, easier to remember. Yeah. Pero okay. diretsa na ako. Walang kinalaman ito sa relasyon mo sa iyong parents because uh -huh. tama ka, uh, bago ito sa iyo, but somebody told me na parang meron kayong hindi pagkakaunawaan ng iyong mga magulang. Hindi po, wala hindi po ganun. Opo, hindi That's po totoo good. yun. So you have Opo. remained a good boy. Opo, espanto pa rin naman po ako. Uh -huh. <laughs> Para lang sa karera. <laughs> yeah. At sa pa, you know, it's easier to remember nga naman. Okay. Darren, yes. di ba? And congratulations on Showtime. Salamat po. It's uh -huh. very new to me. But uh, I enjoy hosting every day with my Showtime family. And um, ayun po, kinakapa ko pa yung hosting eh. But I'm just grateful na napili po ako sa, sa Showtime. Yun po. At ang ganda ng stage na yun. Yung nangangapa ka pa, nangangapa ka pa. You're learning. You don't know what's gonna happen. But that's, sabi ko nga, that's where magic happens. Opo. Diba? Yung, you, you get into that space, that note na maabot ko kaya, or the lower note, uh, mm -hmm. getting there, that journey is one of the most ex exciting. Diba? For an artist. Yes po. And it helps also that, you know, I, I'm already familiar with my co-hosts and Mga all of them. Mga na. Opo. They all treat me like their little brother. Ako nga po yung bunso sa host. So, that's how they treat me. And they're all just very nice, all um, willing to help me out. Okay. And in one of the episodes, na guest sa Showtime, Ah, si Jillian Ward. Diretso ang tanong. Nagkakaligawa na ba? May gusto ka ba kay Jillian Ward? Where is the photo? Can we have the photo? Opo, she guested sa launch namin on GMA. Right. Okay, Jill Ren. And you're being shipped together. Yun nga po. Nagulat po kaming dalawa kasi hindi po namin in-expect. So, ibig sabihin na papag-usapan nyo kayong dalawa. Opo, yeah. So, after that episode, 
Um, I was surprised because she was the first follow po sa akin, so I followed her back. And then we started talking because um, before we parted ways, parang napag-usapan nga namin na sana one day we could do a collaboration. Because we were together at a corporate event before. And she can also sing. And she asked if um, one day I could be guest sa parang YouTube channel niya. At ang sabi mo? Opo, syempre. I'm very open to so doing that. So right now, you are, uh, you are in what kind of a relationship? Naliligaw ka ba? Hindi naman o, po. Hindi pa. Friends lang. Yeah. Friends lang. Getting to know each other. Kasi syempre, uh, this is the first time we ever met po. Eh, nung nice girl. Sa She's really nice. Yes po. So, yun. Malay natin makapag-prod po na, makapag-prod po kami sa showtime. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that should happen. Hindi lamang. Sabi niyo nga, Uh, you might just be able to collaborate on certain things in the future. Oh, oh, oh yeah. she's one of the best. She's one of the emerging superstars in GMA7. I can see the clips of Doc Annalyn. Oh, oh, yes, right? Yes, oh, oh. Do you know what doctor is in the real life? Do you consult him? Yes, I can consult him. I'm going to be able to consult him. He's a good doctor. What is the one thing that you like about her? Jillian is very... Uh, she has this bright aura. Which is something that I noticed right when I met her. Chaka hin ano she? Um, she's very shy until uh -huh. you get to know her. Opo, right. mabait. If, if you were to write a song uh, for Jillian, give it a title. A title. Um, getting to know you, siguro. Getting to know yeah. you. That's nice. Mm. Ganda. Punta naman tayo dun sa pangalawang sinisip sa yo. Uh, and may, may, may tawag na nga. I'm talking about uh, Kailin. Opo. Uh, ayan, kay Ren, Ren naman. Yes. So what is the true story? <laughs> Sabihin mo sa akin, totoo, Darren, Opo. ha? Naging kayo? Well, it was, you It's know... It's answerable uh, by a yes or a no. Hindi ko po masagot <laughs> ng yes or no kasi it was Sabi like ni, a... Sabi niya, Pito Boy naman. <laughs> hindi, anyway, Opo. Like parang a, a puppy love kind of thing, like... Uh, But there was? Opo, yeah. Oh. Before, when we were younger. In the okay. past. Okay. So it was a formal puppy love relationship. Yeah. Galing. Okay. Kaya pala, that's where she was coming from nung, di ba, nung nag-guess na, nung uh, binibiro ba ni Kim ba yun? Ni Kim Shin? Ni Vice. Ni, ni Vice? Oh, po, sa oh, showtime. Ano? Kasi, she sabi was saying, kasi nga. Kasi nga. Yun. Tapos, sabi niya, yeah. sabihin mo na. Yun nga po. Eh. O, oh, so, dito mo na sabihin. Anong gusto mong sabihin? Hindi, kasi nga, makukomplete ko na po yung sentence. Kasi nga, naging kami dati. So, oh. yun. Kaya, kaya binibiro kami ni Ate Vice. Binibig naman ako. <laughs> Gano'ng katagal? Like a, a year, I think. Uy, tukal din, no? Opo. Like a year, okay. Yeah. Kaya pala, you have that rapport. You know, uh, may, may rapport kayo ni Kailin. Yeah, very comfortable. Ayun na nga po yung clip na yan. So, ayun. Oh, Alright. Uh, how did you part? You, you parted as friends. Hindi, dahil it was puppy love, hindi naman kayo nag-away, so you remained friends? No, there was some misunderstandings. And then, when we both matured, parang six years later, napag-usapan na namin. And, uh, ayun po, eventually we became okay with each other again, naging friends na ulit. The yun problem po. was what? Third party? Hindi naman po. Hindi. hindi misunderstandings lang... talaga. Kasi syempre, pag mga bata, parang konting mga peti na away. That's right. Opo. Yun. At bahagi ng growing up years, di ba? Opo, That's yeah. part of it. Jada Avanzado, maaalala ko lang. Mm. I, I wanted to talk about Jada. Uh, naligaw ka ba? Naging kayo ba ni Jada? What happened? Well, Jada and I have been friends since we were younger din po. So, um, What a brilliant singer. Opo, yes. No? Galing. Undeniably one Correct. of uh -oh. the best vocalists in my generation. And Jada and I are still friends naman. Hanggang ngayon? Opo. Pero yeah. wala naman kayong... Uh, naging romantic na relasyon. That's something... No, I like um, you, Darren, because you know, you know, you're very, very straightforward. Andito nung po tayo sa age ko na ano eh. Dati po, medyo ano eh. Can you imagine, I was doing an interview, I was doing interviews with you when you were 12. Opo. Ngayon, sumasagot ka na. Opo. You're about to say something. Kayo ni Jada. Yeah, Jada and I are still friends. Um, and for me, it's something that I guess we'd like to keep private as well. Yung mga... Um, things from the past. Ah, okay. So, okay. you do want to talk about it? Yeah. Uh, but, isa lang. Uh, w w was there anything romantic between the two of you? Oh, but there definitely was. Okay. Um, but, yun lang. Okay. Yun lang I'll stop there. Uh, it, it's good and good. Uh, but, you remain friends. Yes, we're still friends. Okay. And because you said that, I'm going to do, do fast talk with you. Ayan na. 
<laughs> Hindi ang gusto ko lang sa mga ganay sa ka puso. Please take good care of yourselves. Ang init-init talaga darin sa labas. Opo. You have to hydrate, stay indoor kung wala ko kayong gagawin. Manood na lamang ko kayo na mapalabas ng Gym A7 at ang Fast Talk. Maraming salamat. Maya-maya lamang abangan nyo ang family feud. Uh, it's nice to stay home, spend time with yes. your family. Okay. And I must say, you're very good looking, you're styled very well. Thank you, Po. So proud, so <laughs> proud. I mean, you're not going to remember the 12-year-old boy. And you're doing a concert. Yes. June 1, which is called D10, mm -hmm. right? Sa Araneto Coliseum po. So I hope yung mga kapuso po natin ay makapanood ng aking 10th anniversary celebration. That yes. is exciting. Yun po. Supportahan po natin. Okay, we have two minutes to do this. All right. And our time begins now. <laughs> Singer Hartram. Singer. Korean look, Pinoy charm. Pinoy charm. Morning melody, midnight beats. Midnight beats? Solo spotlight or group number? Solo spotlight. Mataas, mababa. Mataas. Mabilis, mabagal. Mabilis? Maikli, mahaba. Mahaba? Morena, mestiza. Both? Brainy, bubbly. <laughs> uh, siguro both. Sweet, din. caring. Caring. Ibibirit o ihahataw? Birit na lang. Uso mapuso? Mapuso. Hardest song you had to learn. Phantom of the Opera. Go to shower ba ballad. Ah, uh, Whitney Houston, Run to You. Go to karaoke song. Dying inside to hold you. Wow, your musical hero. <laughs> Michael Jackson. One fake news about you. Um, na nagawa kami ni Kasi. Mm, one real news about you. Na may concert po ako sa June one sa Araneta. <laughs> Road trip College. with friends. Anong kanta? Um. We can't be friends, Ariana Grande. Yeah. We can't. Oh yeah, road trip with family. Anong kanta? Um, uh, dying inside. <laughs> road trip <laughs> with future girlfriend. Anong kanta? Araw gabi. Iiwas o amin? Amin. One word. Describe yourself. Um, confident. One word. Describe your career. Uh, blooming, blossoming. Okay. One word, nice word. One word, describe your future girlfriend. Faithful. Lights on or lights off? Lights off. Happiness or chocolates? Pwede bang both? Ito yes, <laughs> best time for both. Um, anytime. After 10 years in showbiz, I have become... More confident, more mature, uh, braver also, and smarter. I can see that. Maraming maraming salamat. Sabi mo nga kanina, one of the biggest misconceptions is that nag-away kayo ni Ka. So let's talk yeah. about it. Opo. Uh, Nagkaligawan ba ito? Uh, we're talking about the cryptic posts, uh, Rodrigo's uh, perfect crime, there was uh, hurt people, hurt people, at maraming mga bagay. Nagkaligawan, were you together? Were you officially together? Uh, magkaibigan ba kayo ngayon? We wanna know. Ang kasagutan po, ni Darren sa pagbabalik ng Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Kami so, nagbabalik po dito sa Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Kasama pa rin po natin si Darren. Okay. Sabi mo kanina, one of the biggest misconceptions is that <laughs> one of the biggest misconceptions is that nag-aaway kayo ni Cassie. What is your side of the story? What is the story? Nagulat po ako na yun po yung biglang mga lumalabas because I had an interview also uh, recently and I clarified things that were best friends and um, ayun nga po, people kind of um, misunderstood the whole situation and so I messaged Cass right away na ito yung ngayong nangyayari, nagugulat din ako. What did you say in the interview? Na na-misunderstand ng tao? Um, I feel like, I don't know actually, kasi after that interview, I think, there were some IG stories from Tita Carmina and Cass, and then they kind of stitched it together, and then that's where they the whole the netizens, opo, kami, yung audience. The netizens. It's had, it has nothing to do kasi with the posts. Yung, yung nga, yung, uh, di ba yung hurt people, uh, hurt people. Whose song is that? Uh, Russ, Russ, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it comes with that song. And then Olivia Rodrigo's uh, perfect, perfect Crime. crime. And then, I crossed my heart. I know, I, know, I, I listened to that song. <laughs> I crossed my heart. You cross the line. Yeah. So of course, people, uh, after you know, listening, for example, to your interview, watching you guys, put one and one together. So, mm. but what is the truth? Hindi kayo nagaaway. Opo, hindi po. Okay. Tsaka, um, Cass also explained that they post. Yun nga sinabi ko sa kanya. Like I already know that you and Tita Carmina. Tita Carmina posts an inspirational or a motivational Bible quote. verses. Opo, every day sa IG right. stories niya. 
Um, and then si Cass naman, mahilig din siyang mag-repost ng mga naririnig niyang mga kanta, her favorite songs uh, that she's currently listening to on her IG stories as well. So that's something that I clarified with her. Like, if, you, if you're mad at me or if I did anything wrong, please tell me. Kasi ganun naman po kami ever at since. Niya. Eh. Yun nga po, that she doesn't have any ill feelings towards me. She and her family. Yun po. Kasi, yun nga, eh, ganun naman po kami since, you know, we're so close already. We would never try to beat around the bush. We always just yeah. ask each other directly at this point. Came to the show. She's a nice girl. Really okay. nice. Raced well by Mina and Zorin. Yes. Na, okay. Napakaganda. Pero, di diretso na ako doon. Bakit? Ano ba? Were you best friends? Nagkaroon ba kayo ng relasyon? Was she your girlfriend? Uh, were you her boyfriend? I mean, ito ang katanungan ngayon ng lahat. So, I'd, I'd, I'd like to find out. Yeah, well, Cass and I have always been friends po. And then, uh, we became closer during the pandemic. I feel like a lot of us naman became closer during the pandemic. And until now, we're still best friends. And, uh, you know, the rest of the details, sa amin na lang po. Hindi ako pwedeng sumali na? Opo. Okay. Sa amin na lang. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With love and respect. Opo. Because every time I look at you, naalala ko pa rin yung 12-year-old, yeah. uh, Darren. <laughs> Pero, Darren, now that uh, you're emerging to be one of the biggest music stars Thank in you. this country, yes, and one of the best, uh, ano yung nawala? Privacy? Mm. Opo. That's one of the... How are you handling that? One of the first things that I lost, the privacy. Ah, uh, oh naman po, parang... You just have to keep adapting to this industry, to the showbiz world, because it's really gonna just eat you alive, you know, if, you, you're not, uh, if you're not going to adapt to all the change and stuff like that. Because, of course, coming from Canada as well, um, living in the Philippines was something very new to me, especially since my family was in Canada. So, ayun po, ngayon, I've learned a lot also, and um, ayun po, yung ingay. Yung ingay ng mundo, yung ingay ng industriya, yung uh, trying to define who you are, opinions. Mm. You know, I'm not even talking about bashers, but yeah. you, you are in a very public business. Mm -hmm. uh, opinion ng tao, some people like you, some people don't, some people like me, some people don't. Uh, do you care? I really don't, <laughs> to be you honest. You don't? Hindi po talaga, kasi at the end of the day, um, I'm just, you know, I keep on doing what I love. It's my passion, music po talaga. And wala naman po kung inaapakang mga tao if they wanna say what they wanna say, that's up to them. Ako po, I'm just minding my own business. And at the end of the day, it's all about the people who support you, the people who are around right. you, yun po talaga. And if you don't care about the noise, what do you care about? I care about my family's feelings. And okay. alam nyo po, yun yung opinion po nila, that's what matters to me and also those who are close to me that I know are not trying to, again, beat around the bush. They just tell me directly that this is, I feel like this is off, this is something that you could improve on, kunwari, um, in terms of singing as well, dancing, okay. mga ganun po, hosting. Nakikinig ako sa mga ganun, mga constructive criticism. I will not go into details, but I'll have to ask you this. Mm -hmm. Yes or no, are you single? Yes. You are? Okay. How long have you been single? Ah, uh, a few years, yeah. Have you had a girlfriend? Okay. I know you're 22 now. Ilan? Ilan? Tito Boy, baka... Amin alam. <laughs> baka, mawala, baka mawala na ng respeto yung mga... <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Yeah. Okay. Opo. Sabihan mo lang ako, ikagalang ko yun. Opo naman. Basta pag hindi ako kasama sa detalye, hindi ako papasok. Opo. Salamat let's, po. <laughs> let's go to your craft because people are excited uh, to watching your concert that's June 1. Yeah. Uh, the Arena, Arena Coliseum. It's called D10. Opo. Diba? How do you take care of your voice? Well, for me right now, I kind of just sing every day. Um, I vocalize every May day. May ritual ka? How do you vocalize? Uh, my favorite vocal exercise would be Turuan the si buzzing boy. sound. So it goes... <laughs> then keeps going. <laughs> 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 how do you do that? How do you do that? Wait. Ah, you push okay. the air out po. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you push the air and then but uh, how do you how long do you do that? Um it depends. There are times where I vocalize just 5 minutes. Okay na po ang komento. Ganun lang lahat. Yeah. Uh, wala kayong oh, oh. Meron naman po minsan isang oras when Paano? I just woke up. Uh you can do or mga Yun. What is your highest note? 
yung pag kinakanta ko po yung Phantom of the Opera. Gawin mo nga, yung highest lang, yung highest note lang. <laughs> That's your highest note. But you go low. How low is your low? Oh, yeah. What a range. Thank you. Diba? <laughs> if there is one song that describes you today, Darren, ano yun? Um, unstoppable by Sia. You are unstoppable. Yeah. Pasalamat ka sa lahat at imbatahan la, imbitahan ng lahat sa so showtime and to your concert, please. Go yes, ahead. of course. Sa lahat po ng mga kapuso natin na nanonood, maraming salamat. Darren Atik, I love you guys so much. D10, my 10th anniversary is happening on June 1st at the Araneta Coliseum for tickets. You can go to ticketnet.com.ph and it's showtime. Every day po yan from Monday to Saturday, 12 noon on GMA7. Just go to the highest notes because I want to sing with you. Okay po. Go. <laughs> Night tay kapuso. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin sa inyong mga tahanan araw-araw. Thank you. Please support Darren. Be kind. Make your nanay and daddy proud. Hashtag say thank you. Do one good thing a day and make this world a better place. Goodbye for now. God bless. Boys all. Thank you.